better in MLB The Show 24. We're going to be covering equipment that I prefer using to help myself hit better in MLB 24. We're also going to be covering things that can help you, as well as custom roster practice with your Diamond Dynasty squad and here with hitters and against pitchers that you're going to be online in MLB The Show 24. And last but not least, we're going to be talking to you, you guys can take at the plate to hit better, get your PCL, and hit that target more frequently in MLB The Show 24. So if that's something you guys think you guys will enjoy, hit that like button right now and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Turn on notifications so you guys know when every video goes live. And let's get into number one. What equipment do I use to basically maximize skill level gap? And the console that I play on, because for this game, it does kind of matter slightly. I play on a GameSure 7SE controller that is only on Xbox. And I also play on Xbox has less input delay on the well, after March than a PlayStation does. On top of that, an update in December that allows you to overclock it to 1000 Hertz, making it the only controller you can possibly overclock on a console. Already, this controller is 50 Hertz, refresh rate and response time, which is already faster than a lot of controllers that are like 150 to 200, especially blue wired. Some of those controllers are not the greatest. And a lot of the good controllers are very expensive. This GameShare G7S is not. Now what? It means it's a faster response, 50 to 1000. That's four times faster. So when you click A on a button, or whatever button you click on this, it is going to happen on your monitor or TV four times faster than it would with another controller. Now about TVs, you should not, if you want to play competitively, obviously if you're a casual player, don't worry about it. But if you're trying to like compete in ranked seasons or in tournament eventually, or you just want to be a competitive player, I would recommend buying a monitor with a like a one millisecond uh, or lower, even maybe 0 0.5, because that's going to help you. It's basically going to tell the PlayStation it's going to happen on that screen. It won't be feel so delayed like it on a TV. Once you go from a TV to a, it's literally a night and day difference. And if you're on PlayStation 5 or X or the newer Xs, you can also do 120 hertz. So make it a 120 hertz monitor at a refresh rate of one second or lower. 1440p, 1080p, does not really matter. I've used both. Don't really tell the difference between those two. It's all about the 120 hertz. Called Control Freak. What are control freaks? Don't forget the precision rings right there. So the control freaks that go on the tick, the ones right here, the black precision rings underneath it will have more micro movements. Barely move your PCI, it will display that in game. And then the precision rings are going to be where you don't drop your PCI as much. So if you drop your PCI a lot, make more micro adjustments. Control freaks are a huge tool. I've been using these control freaks since I believe 2007, 2008, when they first launched back when I was playing Call of Warfare. And once I got used to them, I can't really play most games without them because I'm just so used to my controller. They do take some time to get used to. Think that you're gonna be instantly better just you use them. You do have to get used to them and of course, practice with them. Number two. So what we're gonna do here, Competitive legend, what you guys want to practice on or play on? I would always practice on one difficulty higher than what you play on at currently online, or just practice on legend. If you want the best on legend, you could probably adjust to hit on any difficulty, right? So I don't really play it in a hard, so I'm not going to practice on legend in this video, but typically I would. But I want to like show it off a little bit better than that. Anyways, practice on camera, hitting view, strike zone high, or strike zone are the most two most competitive hits that you guys will use. Any most competitors, will, especially top 50 players, will use either strike or strike zone high. Uh, the rest of that, as far as other hitting, PCI center, PCI somebody just, some people just like, like the bat PCI. And typically I don't have an inner or an outer, a PCI color of yellow and a, anywhere from 30 to 40% or 50% opacity fade out of none. Now, the next thing we want to know is your hidden set. That's the only thing you really need to know for hitting. And the next thing we're going to talk about is roster. So we're going to go to vaults and we are going to look up a roster that a top player made so we can practice with Diamond Dynasty players that we're using a lot 
and against pitchers that we're going to be facing a lot in MLB The Show 24 starting out. Obviously, he will update this roster as the year goes along. But Johanna about it has made a, a pretty, we're going to go search line ID, and you will see it right here. It is called Batting Practice 3-7. Please update it with basically the, the date it. So you, on, in the description down below, it says hit with the Yankees and face the Red Sox. So you will go ahead and download this. I already have it downloaded. It's up to create, and you are going, or not to create. You're going to go to settings. You're going to go file management. You are going to load that roster, save roster. Badges. We're going to go ahead and load roster so we can hop into custom practice with that roster and then talk about everything else. He is a top 50 player. He made this roster and updated it throughout the season. So be sure to check him out on YouTube, Twitch, TikTok. You ain't going to definitely be able to find him. So now we're going to go over to custom rosters and we are going to go to Fox, right? That's who's pitching. And then we're going to be the New York Yankees because that is who's. And then Stadium right now. Typically, going to play online at just so you can just practice what it feels like to hit in that stadium. But for this, we're just going to hop and guys show it off a little bit. Our uh, press start. We're going to go to practice type and you're going to click on batting. Now, obviously, Bernie Williams, Beltre, Babe Ruth, Mike Trout, Rafael Romero, Gibson, Seeger, Betts, Buxton, Acuna. You got pretty much all the big names that are going to be seeing. We got pitchers Santana, Randy, Randy Johnson. Donaldson, Paul Skeens, Emmanuel Classe, good stuff right there. Obviously, probably like Donaldson would be a good person to face against. You can make them throw strikes if you just want to practice against strikes. If you don't select anything, they can throw in, in any location. And for this video, this purpose is throw strikes so we have a chance to hit it. We're not going to worry about our eye right now. That's a good way to start. So, like any pitches you specifically struggle with, like inside pitches, you can pick the inside pitches. Let's say you struggle with inside sinkers you just throw sinkers and turn everything off and just practice those inside sinkers that you struggle with so that's really really cool about this about this is you can practice on pitches that you may struggle with so just keep that in mind the settings down here is that these you can change a lot of them and just keep on now here comes this is the hardest part especially because like every pitcher is gonna be you want to take pitches as much as possible right so you also want to see where these point because that's where you want to be looking. That's where your eye needs to be when the ball's coming out. So his release point looks to be like right here. So that's where your eyes are at. That's not where your PCI is at because if you PCI right there, what happens? You can't then you can't see them out, right? If I leave so leave my PCI right there, I'm not going to be able to see the ball leave his hand. We need to see it so we can react to it faster. So another thing is we want to make sure that we don't know if he's throwing fastball change up. We don't we don't know, right? Don't even swing. If you're trying to track the PCI swing, just track the baseball. So see, see, I'm move my PCI to the baseball. I'm not even swinging. I just want to practice my tracking. So don't swing. Just practice. It might not be the greatest. I also have my PCI to 30%, so maybe it's hard to see my PCI as well. But just track the baseball. And then when you should feel, do that about the times. And then once you start more feeling more comfortable that you're tracking the baseball really well, then you start actually taking the swing. Seeing if it's improved right but the biggest thing is to watch what's going to be no matter who you are facing that's going to change depending on the pitcher depending on where the release point is are they a sidearm pitcher are they a submarine pitcher what are they that's going to determine where you are looking for the baseball at in this case i'm looking right there it's also really early in the morning so i just woke up recording this video so it's a and we're also facing john donaldson so that's even harder look at the release point because that's going to give you the most time of seeing the ball when it's coming late so you're going to be going to have more time to react or if you recognize that ball late if you late especially if they have an outlier fastball or something coming at you it's going to be a lot harder to react to this ball if you're seeing it super late so you want to see the release point so you can see that ball out of his hand as fast as possible so you give yourself the most time to react to that baseball and make a good swing on it another eye on everything so we're gonna go to like santana santana has a slash we probably should have went to a righty but that's okay we're gonna go to santana the diff different pitcher I already messed that one up let's release points like right here when you see a new pitcher don't swing at the first pitch because obviously we want to see the release point we want to see where the ball's coming out at first so that's a good good practice i don't care if it's all probably should not swing at the first pitch because you want to see where that ball's coming out for so you can react faster because most likely that first pitch you're not going to react to it well 
because you're not going to see it as soon as you would if you knew where to look. You know where to look for before you actually see that pit. So that's that's something you well, and then we'll just look at Pedro real, Pedro Martinez real quick and see Eddie's perspective and where we need to look at. See, it's like the 408 sign almost, like right, like right here is where it comes out. We're looking. All right, so that's where, and then we're swinging. Okay. Uh, I mean, I do what you need to do until you're warmed up, anyways. I do. I have to change super early so we, we need strikes please and thank you so that's like your hitting tips right there see the release see it coming in and then react to it the easier it is to react to it and fastballs you can even do like a one two three click method or click 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 so if i was to do like uh let's see do just like fastballs let's just say that's one that's up right now up in the center of the field so just motion it's like one right so, click method. As you guys start, like start, he starts turning up. Ready? One, two. So once he starts his lake, two, three. Solid three. One, two, three. Just remember that. One, two, three. Throw a fastball. You can't time that up like that. So you guys can see stuff like this, right? I can barely make those little mic micro adjustments. Those are very, very important. The baseball a lot better. And you're not gonna slam. It's like it takes more motion, more force to go down with the PCI. So you're not gonna slam with those precision rings. That's why I like the that's why I like the control freaks. I do have a discount code, but like I said, I've been using these for 17 practically. So this is what I preach. I use this is used to hit better. And be better at MLB The Show 24, and you know I wouldn't, I wouldn't advertise I believe in it myself. I'm here, and that's why I'm letting you guys know because I believe in it. It does take practice, though. It happen overnight. Get used to all stuff and practicing all these things. I even did like a live tips thing, and like I was like, man, I can't even hit against rookie against the CPU. And then I just started. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna use my own hitting tips just to hit against the CPU on rookie. And then I put up 10 runs in the first. It doesn't matter what difficulty you need to practice those fundamentals at the video game. If those fundamentals, then you're not going to be good no matter what difficulty you're playing on. So make sure you guys are practicing those fundamentals, whether it's against the CPU, whether it's fine, and you will get better at the game. I promise you. You might be better than what you were. And that's what's what, what important. You're trying to beat yourself. You're not trying to beat everyone else. It's not a race it's yourself, not a race to everyone else. Just remember that. Hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and turn notifications on so you guys get notified when every video goes live. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.